Have you recently been named a successor trustee and you're trying to figure out what does that mean? What are you supposed to do next? First, let's start with just talking about what a trust is and then we'll talk about some important things that you need to know. Trusts are used for all different purposes, but at its most basic, think of a trust like a box holding different assets or property. And attached to that box is a set of rules or instructions. Within those instructions, you've been appointed as successor trustee, which means you're responsible for following those instructions within the document. And those instructions tell you what you need to do, who are the beneficiaries of those assets, either now or in the future, and how we're supposed to manage them going forward. So the first thing you wanna be aware of as successor trustee is that you have to follow the instructions. I know that might sound pretty simple, but you'd be surprised. Over the years, we've run into people that say, well, I'm trustee, I just get to decide how to manage things. And that's really not the case. We have to look at those instructions that tell you exactly what you're supposed to do. And so if you're not sure what your responsibilities are, do make sure that you meet with a qualified estate planning attorney that can help you understand that document and make sure you know what your instructions are. The second thing to be aware of if you've been named a successor trustee is that it comes with a lot of responsibilities. It's what's called a fiduciary role, meaning you've taken on liability to act in the best interest of the trust and the beneficiaries of the trust. And with that comes a variety of responsibilities from things like properly managing the assets, paying any debts or expenses against the trust, filing any taxes that might be due. And there's also a lot of rules about proper investment and management of the assets. So if you're not sure what your duties are or whether you're handling things correctly, you may wanna seek out professional assistance. It's very common for trustees to hire an attorney or financial advisor to help them with this process. And what that does is it shifts some of the responsibility to that professional who does this day in and day out and knows exactly what needs to be done. The third thing that most trustees worry about is how this is going to impact them financially. Generally, the trust document will specify that the trustee can be made whole, meaning they can be reimbursed by the trust for any out-of-pocket expenses, whether that's things like filing fees or the cost of hiring a professional to help manage the trust or file the taxes, or sometimes it might be things like travel expenses. So the person that passed away is in another state and you need to travel there as trustee to handle things, then reasonable travel expenses may be reimbursable. And then the last thing to know is serving as trustee can be time consuming. It can take you away from valuable family and work time. So you want to make sure you understand exactly what's going to be involved and all of the work that's going to be part of that. Now, some trusts will allow a trustee to be compensated, but you need to look at the trust document and whether it allows for compensation or not. Other times, if you're a beneficiary of the trust or if you're a family member, it may say that you cannot be compensated for your time. So don't just assume that it's okay to compensate yourself. Even if the trust allows for compensation, usually there's going to be some sort of standard to determine what is considered reasonable compensation based on the work that you've put in. Again, most of the time, people end up opting to hire some assistance along the way to help them with this process so that it doesn't become too burdensome or too time consuming. Being named as a trustee is a real honor. It meant that the person that named you had a lot of confidence in you and felt that you were trustworthy and responsible. But as we've talked about, it comes with a lot of duties and liabilities. So if you're unsure about what your role entails or whether you're handling things correctly, give our office a call and we'll help you figure out your next steps.